In this video, I'm going to remind you of some things that you may have learned about in geometry about triangles. Now, you probably took an entire year's course in geometry, and I'm just going to highlight three important facts from that class that you may find useful on the placement test. The first one is what's called the Pythagorean theorem. You'll remember it as soon as I state the formula. It says that if you have a right triangle, and you know you have a right triangle because you'll see a little indicator here, a box, that says that's a 90 degree angle, a perfect corner. If you label the sides A, B, and C, it's always true that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And that's called the Pythagorean theorem. That allows you, given any two sides of a right triangle, to always find out what the third side is equal to. You may say to yourself, well, how am I supposed to know what A, B, and C are? How do I label it? The only thing that matters is that you always make C the longest side. Okay? The other two can be in either position that you'd like. So for example, suppose we were given this problem here. Find the missing side of that triangle. Well, for sure, this side has to be C because it's the longest side. Now whether you want to call this A or whether you want to call it B, totally up to you. I'm just going to call it A. I know that A squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And now I can just solve this equation. a squared plus 36 is equal to 100. I'll subtract 36 from both sides. a squared is equal to 64. So I know by taking the square root of both sides, what number squared gives me 64? Oh, a has to be 8. And so this side here would be 8 units long. So that's the Pythagorean theorem. A second fact about triangles that I want to remind you about is the sum of the angles. So for example, if this is 90 because it's a right angle, and this is um, 40, I'm just making that up, we should be able then to find out what that is equal to. Okay? So the second thing I'd like you to remind you about is that whenever you're working with a triangle, the sum of the angles is always 180 degrees. Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Sum of the angles is 180. So for example, if this is 90 and this is 40, and we were asked, hey, how big is that angle? 90 plus 40 is 130. So I know that this would be 180 minus 130. In other words, that would be, have to be a 50 degree angle. And then the last thing I'd like to remind you about is how to find the area of a triangle. The formula for the area of a triangle is 1 half times the base times the height. So B stands for base and H stands for height. So for example, let's go back to our triangle that we had earlier where we found out that this was 6, this was 8, and this was 10. Let's find the area of this triangle. It's going to be equal to 1 half times the base here, which is 8, times its height, which was 6. In other words, half of 48, that triangle would have an area of 24 square units, whether it's inches or centimeters or whatever it's being measured in. So why don't I give you one to try? Okay, so here's one for you to try, uh, one of everything we just reviewed. I'd like you to find the missing side of this right triangle. And then after you do that, find the area of the triangle. And the last thing I'd like you to do is here's a triangle. Notice it's not a right triangle, but I've given you two of the angle measures, and I'm asking you to find the third one. 
Okay, let's see how you did. So to find the missing side of a triangle, that's a right triangle, we use the Pythagorean theorem. This side here, because it's the longest side, has to be C. You can call this A or B. It won't matter. I'm just going to call it A. I know that A squared plus, that would be B, B squared is equal to C squared. I'll subtract 16 from both sides. That tells me that A squared is equal to 9. And the number that I square to get 9 would be 3. So now I know that this side is 3 units long. So the missing side is 3. Let's go ahead and find the area. The area is going to be 1 half times the base times the height. In other words, 1 half times 12. This triangle here would have an area of 6 square units. And last, here we'd like to find the missing angle of this triangle. I see that two angles are given and they add up to 130 degrees. I remember that the sum of all of the angles has to be 180 degrees. So if I have 180 minus 130, that means that that missing angle would be 50 degrees. And that's a quick recap of three triangle facts.